Today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition is on citizenship in the United States. Visit PragerUKids.com to download this sweet worksheet and play along. This is Street Smarts, a game show on the streets where contestants are rewarded for their knowledge. Street Smarts! Good job! Thank you, guys! Welcome back to another episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with... You to the N to the C-L-E, you bet it's me, it's Uncle Sam for Pregnant You Kids, and we are back here at the Richard Nixon Library to see what kids know about citizenship in the United States. So, um, let's go ask some questions. I reckon we should. Here are the rules. There are a total of eight questions. Each correct answer is worth $5. But the final question is worth $20. If someone is stuck on a question, they can pay Uncle Sam $2 for a clue, or they can pay him $5 to ask help from a friend or a parent. Now, once someone answers incorrectly, that is it. They are eliminated. However, the good news is they get to keep all the cash that they earned up to that point. We are here with... Christina. Christina! Are you excited to win some money? Yes. Answer right. some questions on citizenship? Yes. All right, she oh. is ready. So let's get started with question number one. Question one. Citizenship describes the relationship between an individual and the blank he or she lives in. A, planet, B, house, or C, country. C, country. Bingo! First five in her hand. I see what Super you mean. Awesome. C, country. Correct, Amunda. Correct. A, planet, B, house, or C, country. Country. Boom! First five. Blake is already on fire. C country. Woo! There you are go. Correct. First five First dollars, five Ellen. Woo. Country. C. Woo. She's seeing those five dollars in her hand. Country. First five. Boom. Christina, where are you from? Orange. And what brings you out here to the President Nixon Library Museum? To be on Prager You Kids. And oh, my on some oh, that's a that's a golden oh, answer right there. I like up. that. I like that. Awesome. So with that said, you ready for question two? Yes. Woo! All right. Question two. Unlike a monarchy where most people are subject to a single ruler, the US is a blank, a representative democracy where all citizens have equal legal and social status. A continent, B republic, or C dictatorship. B Republic. Woo! Bingo! Give her another be five. Correct, Christina. C. We'll go C. Dictatorship? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's incorrect. That's incorrect. Street Smart! B Republic. B nice. Republic. A Continent, B Republic, or C Dictatorship? Republic. Give her a five. Give her a five. All right, all right. I'm giving her the five. You take it. Good <laughs> job. Good hey, money. Oh, woo! Got some sass. Question three. The founding fathers' ideas of citizens participating in a political system were greatly influenced by two ancient empires. Name one. The Roman Empire. <laughs> the Roman Empire. You want to ask a parent? Yes. All right. right. I'll take five. Five. Yep, it's five for asking a parent. Roman Empire. Woo! Correct! Oh, my mom came there with, the with the five dollars! Uh, the Greek? Yes! Woo! Yes! Yes! It's all Greek to me! Yes. Hey! Five dollars, Alex! Greek? Wow! Greek! Do you know the other um, ancient empire? Is it Greek? Wow. He knew them both. He knew oh, both. but you don't get any more money for the second one. <laughs> Sorry! Question four. Which of these is not a right guaranteed to citizens by the U.S. Constitution? A, the right to vote, B, the ability to run for office, or C, an affordable home? B, the ability to run for office. Ooh, that would be incorrect. incorrect. She's fanning it out. She's, she's fanning, she's fanning, it, fanning out. it. She's ready. <laughs> A, the right to vote, B, the ability to run for office, or C, an affordable home? C. An affordable home. She hesitated, Ooh. but she got it right. She got she it. She got it right. She got it really? correct. I don't have a right to an affordable home. Unfortunately not, Uncle But I'm going to need it. She's taking all my money. The right to run to office. 
Oh, Unfortunately, oh, Alex, that is incorrect. Street smart! Uh, an affordable home. <laughs> there we go, an affordable home. Give him a That was correct. All right, Hardy, are you ready for question five? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. he is. All right, question five. Which of these is not a legal duty of being a citizen of the United States? A, paying taxes, B, knowing all 50 states, or C, doing jury duty? Knowing all 50 states? He's Woo! being correct right here. He just what? keeps taking and taking and taking all the money. Uh, knowing all 50 states. Nice. Give Man, us another five. Sure know a lot of these questions. B, knowing all 50 states. B, knowing all 50 states. Woo! Wow. I mean, it would be helpful to know them all, but Yeah, no. do you know them all? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you know the capital? Right now, yeah, on the go. spot. Go. Oh. No, I can't no, go. <laughs> Alabama, Arkansas, Minnesota. <laughs> Let's go. Question six. According to the Constitution, only natural-born citizens are eligible for this public office. The president. Speaking of presidents, here's another you one. You got it right. President. That is correct. She's like, let Speaking me think presidents. about it. President. Woo! You are almost there. I know. She's like. <sighs> Oh. So excited. Question seven. Which of the following is a requirement of foreign individuals when applying to become a naturalized citizen in the U.S.? A, have a relative who's a U.S. citizen. B, pass a civics test. Or C, memorize the Constitution. B, pass a civics test. Wow. Wow. Just another Take it. <laughs> Just take my money. Oh, my goodness. Pass a civics test. He's passing these questions. And you're passing these questions. My goodness. Having a relative in USA. Unfortunately, hard. <laughs> oh, no, unfortunately, so it's close. incorrect. A, have a relative that's a US citizen. I can't, I can't remember it's okay, it. okay, but A is, is not the correct. way. It's not the way. What time is it? I think it's time for the final question. It's the final question. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And Christina, do you remember how much that was? Thirty-five dollars. Oh, that was. She wants, to take more <laughs> she wants than more than twenty. Twenty dollars. It's a twenty-dollar question. That means it's not going to be so easy, Logan. Here is the final question. This amendment to the Constitution states that all persons born or naturalized in the U.S. are citizens of the United States. I don't know this one. Um, can I? I don't know. Uh, First Amendment. Oh! <laughs> oh I used to know this too. I don't know. Take a guess. Take a guess. It's the Constitution. No, the answer is not the Constitution. <laughs> no, I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> Street smarts! Uncle Sam, this amendment to the Constitution states that all persons born or naturalized in the United States are citizens of the United States. Well, that would be none other than the 14th Amendment. And that is indeed correct. Street <laughs> smarts. Unfortunately, he doesn't win the twenty dollars because uh, it's already in his hand. Oh, I win all the money come April. All the money. In today's episode, we learned about citizenship in the United States. Citizenship describes the relationship between an individual and his or her country. The concept of modern citizenship actually originated in the ancient Greek and Roman empires. The Founding Fathers used those ideas to model the U.S. as a republic, which is a representative democracy where all citizens have equal legal and social status, as opposed to a monarchy where the population is subject to one ruler. The Declaration of Independence embodies this idea when it states, all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. An individual who is granted U.S. citizenship has, in essence, a deal with the country. They get certain rights, privileges, and protections that are allotted to all U.S. citizens in exchange for allegiance and responsibilities toward the country. Some of the benefits that U.S. citizens get to enjoy are freedom of speech, religion, the right to a fair trial, 
the right to vote, and the ability to run for office. However, in exchange for these privileges, a U.S. citizen is expected to obey laws, pay taxes, and participate in juries, also known as jury duty. The 14th Amendment guarantees that all persons born in the U.S. are citizens, except those born to a foreign diplomat. The process of a foreigner becoming a citizen is called naturalization, which includes being a permanent resident for five years, or three years if their spouse is a U.S. citizen. They also must pass a civics test, showing basic U.S. history and government knowledge. If they pass the test, they then participate in a naturalization ceremony, where they pledge an oath of allegiance to the United States of America, thus officially becoming a citizen of the USA. Fun fact! Our founding fathers considered themselves citizen statesmen who answered the call of public service, putting the interests of the nation before their own, and returned to private life among their fellow citizens. George Washington was considered the epitome of this citizen statesman. Being a citizen of the United States is a unique honor and is best summarized when President Calvin Coolidge said, to live under the American Constitution is the greatest political privilege that was ever accorded to the human race. Thank you to all our contestants for participating in today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with... Uh-uh, Uncle Sam, and a big, big shout out and thank you to the Richard Nixon Library for once again, hosting us here on this wonderful episode of Street Smarts. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Peace. I have a dog, his name's Kemma. Up top, up top, I love dogs. That's Uncle so Sam cute. is a huge dog lover. Just let the records state. <laughs> a risk, rep You got it. It's only question two. It's only question two. <laughs> Taking all of it. At this point, we would like to take a side note. Any donations for this video will go to Uncle Sam in the future. Uncle Sam's <laughs> forever home. Because I'm taking all of his money. Oh! Wow, let's we'll take one more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I knew that one from the top of my head. Wow, off the top of his head. He knew that one from the top of his head. How are you so smart? Yeah. I don't know. You don't. Hey, hey, thanks for watching this episode. We hope you learned a lot. You know we have more, right? PragerU Kids is devoted to teaching what most schools aren't, our American values, history, and blessings. Watch more at PragerUKids.com, and parents, don't forget to subscribe.